Well, how you doing? I wanted to show you an idea I had. Uh, you know, everyone knows how the quick set deadbolts. Uh, you know, you can rekey them using the smart key, uh, change tools, all that stuff. Uh, but something that uh, a lot of people don't know, and and I, I will mention real quick, I know uh, most people know that there are, uh, quick set is now making a keyway that's the uh, SC1 keyway, and that's where, uh, you know, I, I bought the kit where you get the rekey tool, all that stuff, and you can rekey it. But uh, I've been wanting to do a key checker. I know SC Lock uh, and Key, uh, he uh, he has a key checker he does. I don't know, you know, I haven't really done all the homework to figure out how many depths I can put into a, a pin stack, you know, uh, from zero to nine. But um, for master wafers to just be able to put this in, and, and as you duplicate keys, you can check to see if they're, they're right or not. And so I thought, you know, I have this double deadbolt here it's uh, i think it's they call it the the 816 it's a quick set it's a key control deadbolt so you know you can't master key smart key but you can have deadbolts that will allow more than one type of key with a different key cut and in our case uh, the situation i've figured out here is uh and you know you, you on these here there's a little slot right underneath and you just uh rotate that around and Right above is uh, the other keyway. And in this one in particular, it came with this one right here, which uh, is a different key than Quickset normally has. It's actually a uh, control key style just for, uh, and that's what it says, do not duplicate. I believe the key number is like a 40081, and that's what works for this, but it will not fit your normal Quickset key. You know, they won't fit. It's a different keyway. It's a control key. And they, they make that just for these deadbolts so the, a landlord can actually go and rekey some. So what I did was I used my schlag, uh, schlag, schlag, however you want to call it, uh, keyway. And I put the one I bought with my new uh, rekey tool. I just wanted to have one as a key checker. So now I have both keyways and one deadbolt. So you can use a schlag uh, key on a quick set deadbolt. It also has a quick set key for this key control. And so I thought it'd be kind of a neat idea for a key checker. So I'll mount this onto something like this here and maybe even mount a couple of different styles. Uh, you know, whatever. I know quick set uh, makes the, the keyway and wiser too. Uh, um, I haven't really, I don't do a whole lot with buying quick set, but, uh, you know, unless I need to, but they, they have their hands in a lot of things, but it is kind of fascinating now that I, I can go ahead and, and rekey a lock and then, uh, install them. And uh, there's a times where you want to check all your duplicate keys. I can just, you know, it just takes like 10 seconds to go on ahead and put your old key in there, push that and pull the key out and then, you know, put your new key in there and then double check everything. Well, the same goes with the, Schlage style here, kind of hard to see and see the camera at the same time. So now I can actually do that too, and all on the same one. And so it's a key checker for me, you know, uh, but most people it would be, uh, you know, maybe you want to, you can also use the control key, but if you want, like, part of your building has quick set, part of it has schlag, you can, uh, you know, tell someone to go on ahead and uh, use that keyway. Now, you know, you call it the faceplate. I guess I can rename this now and call it the, the, the toilet seat because you'll have people arguing over which side, you know, you want to use if you're coming in with the schlag keyway or the, the quickset keyway. Of course, you know, you know how it is. Some will say, well, I wish you'd leave it down. And no, no, I wish you'd leave it up. And, you know, so uh, anyways, I just thought I'd throw this together, you know. I uh, thought it was kind of a neat idea. For me, uh, I just used the, the check keys. But as far as a possibility, this is a control key deadbolt quick set makes, and it allows you to use different keys. Let me see if I can pull that cover off the, the, the toilet seat. <laughs> anyway, so I got two different keyways in here, quick set and schlag. And it didn't matter, you know, which side you put this on. You can it, Either keyway will operate this same deadbolt. So you don't even have to replace you know, any quick set key lock uh, will fit this this one here is the eight or the four zero zero eight three the deadbolt is the the eight sixteen you know and you get whatever finish you want but uh uh you know they're not cheap they're not expensive uh, it is a grade two deadbolt 
A lot of people don't like quick set for the obvious reasons because they believe you can force them open. I think the newer generation, if you have that force tool that uh, one of the other uh, locksmiths out there makes, uh, I think it will break the force tool. And so uh, I don't know. Uh, you still destroy the lock. To me, you know, if you're going to destroy something, you're going to get in no matter what you do anyway. So it doesn't really matter. All the special tools, as long as it's not so simple, it's just a you know, screwdriver. But I think uh, they'll hold up to the screwdriver. I haven't tried it. Don't want to try it. I, I, I usually, if I buy these locks, uh, they're actually for sale for customer. So, but anyways, that's that control key one. But now with the, the new Schlage, uh, let me find my key here. To rekey this, you put it in and you go the opposite direction. Normally, quick set would be that direction. This here, it's all, everything's on the opposite side. And you slip your tool on there, pop that tool, pull your key out, and then uh, you put your new key in there and there you go and that's now it's a this is actually it's a sc1 keyway here but it's uh just a, they got quick sets head on there i guess they probably didn't want to argue about the proprietary look of it but uh, that is sc1 and so now you've essentially locked out the, the original so anyways <clears throat> and you know to if you don't have the key, you're able to get that apart. This uh, has, a, instead of the cradle, like the other quick set style has, let's see if I can find my cradle real quick. The old uh, quick set keyway has a, a smart tool, relearn, uh, reteach uh, cradle. This here has this tool here, and uh, it's not going to work on this one here, but you'll go on ahead and push that in. You know, you follow directions. It tells you what to do. It gives you a, a blank, and then... Uh, to find it and then when you put the the position you need to you put the tool in the hole and uh, then you're uh, able to put in your new key once you put it in the 12 o'clock position i'm not going to go through the whole thing on that but uh, just wanted to mention that you know it's a possibility uh, if you want to you can master key i say you can use multiple key biddings on a, a quick set deadbolt but uh, it isn't a true master key where you actually have uh, master wafers in there. And, you know, the thing with the, like the master pins, like when people talk about when you rekey uh, any key or any lock, you're supposed to check for master pins. The whole thing with the master pin is why you check them. There's, there's a couple reasons, you know, maybe more. But uh, off the top of my head, the main reason you check for master wafers, uh, the pins, is because... Uh, you want to make sure that you can reduce the amount of keys that can actually operate that. For every uh, wafer, you've created an extra shear line. And so, uh, you know, I know like best, uh, sometimes uh, I've, I've worked in uh, buildings where, you know, they've had multiple, uh, the, the pin stacks where they each had uh, master pins in them. And, you know, who knows how many keys. I mean, you can do the math. It's exponential how many keys could actually work that. Granted, in our system, I mean, that's why you use restricted keyways. Uh, we used uh, M there. I've seen D, E, J, whatever, uh, different places. But uh, most uh, areas, you know, they, they try to stick to the best. will tell you which ones uh, they recommend for your area based on what they know is already out there and, you know, the possibility of exposure. But but this is pretty cool. I mean, you can use uh, two different key, uh, quick set keys. Uh, you know, you just, like I say, here's the toilet seat right here. You got to decide you know the next guy's going to come along and uh, who left the seat up you know and uh, you just say well you know it's how how i like it or whatever half time i go to a house the locks like this anyway so who cares but uh anyways i just wanted to kind of throw that out there it's a possibility for me it's a key checker so i can uh, cut keys and duplicate them and once i program that you know it's like five ten seconds then i can just check all my keys on there if i have to duplicate 20 you know, keys off of one one key, then uh, I can go on ahead and check every one of them. And right there, instead of walking around each door, these are pretty uh, pretty accurate. You know, I think two to three thousandths max is what it'll allow, uh, plus or minus uh, two to three thousandths. But um, anyways, uh, that's just really all I really wanted to show. Like I said, it uh, just a kind of a cool idea. I figured SE lock and key. He had uh, another way of doing it with different ones. Uh, you may have to put more wafers in. But uh, anyways, for if you just want like uh, one deadbolt with two different keyways, you can do a key check for a quick set or SC1 schlag. Uh, well, there you go. That's an easy way to do it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.